Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. In this video today, I wanted to share with you the beautiful spinning wheel reveal window card that I promised to give you in my previous haul video. So if you would like to see how I created this card, then keep on watching. The first thing I'm going to be doing in this video is preparing my background. Um, so I have a piece of Bristol Smooth cardstock that I am distressing. So I started distressing with the color um, Blueprint Sketch. And then I'm going to be fading in some of the hickory smoke at the bottom of the background. And then for the top of the background, I am going to be using some chip sapphire. So I wanted my sky to look a little choppy and a little storm cloudy. So I didn't take much care to blend this out entirely. I wanted some of the white peeking through because we are going to be using a cloud to cut out the window, the reveal window for our spinning card. So I'm just kind of messily blending these blues together along with that hickory smoke. And then I'm going to be taking a rectangle card front stitched die and cutting that out in my cuddle bug to give me a A2 sized card. So I'm going to put that to the side and I'm going to start cutting out these circles, which will be the mechanism that spins the wheel on my card. So that first circle is going to be about, um, it's the second to last circle in my circle framework set. And then the small circle is about two inches wide. The small circle can be any size as long as it is smaller than your bigger circle. So the circles are open to interpretation and size. And then just for some fixings on the front of the card, I'm going to be using a cloud die. I'm actually going to cut out two of those cloud dies. And here you see me um, distressing with the hickory smoke, the edges of those clouds, just to kind of make them look a little more gray and just a little more stormy because I wanted this card to be almost like a stormy night scene. So I'm distressing the edges of those clouds. I did both of them. And then here you see me positioning my cloud die that I'm going to be using to create the reveal wheel. And I found the position that I liked it in. And I went ahead and ran that through the cuddle bug. Next, I'm going to work on my mechanism for the spinning wheel, and I'm taking an awl or any sort of pointy tool that you have, and I'm going to be eyeballing a hole right in the center, and in that hole, I placed a really small brad, and next, I'm going to be popping that small circle up with some foam squares. Um, feel free to use a thinner foam, especially if you have a really tiny die. You really want to put the foam that matches the height and dimensions of your die. So I am going to be taking some low-tack tape and taping down my big circle in the position that I want it in because I'm going to now remove the backing off of my foam squares and I'm going to be lining up my card front with my card base, which are both the same size. And I'm going to press down on that foam and remove the big circle from the card base. And then next, I'm going to open up the wings on my brad and we're going to remove that big circle so that we can decorate it and stamp it. So to decorate my big circle, I'm going to be using a little bit of hickory smoke and I'm messily blending that around my big circle, not taking too much care to make it very neat and blended because we want to keep some of the white area and just make it look a little more stormy and cloudy. 
So I'm starting with the hickory smoke and then I go in with the chip sapphire so that um, I can blend it in a little bit more with the background. So I just take that chip sapphire and concentrate it more on the edges. So next I'm going to be placing my circle back onto my brad and lining up my card front and I do this so that I can trace out the cloud shape four times onto my circle spinning my wheel a quarter each time I trace the cloud just so that I know the positioning of my stamped words are going to be in the right place. So here I'm showing you the stamp set that we're going to be using, and it's really cool um, superhero stamp set that I got from AliExpress. And the words we're going to be using are cute, cool, fun, and then I took the Your Super um, sentiment and I cut it in half. So we're also going to use the Your and the Super, but in two different areas. And you'll see what I mean in a second. Here I'm just stamping out each of those words right in the center of those clouds that I lightly traced out. And I go ahead and stamp each one. And what you actually don't see on camera is that I also took a tiny star stamp and I stamped that in between each one of the words. So now I'm going to finish decorating the front of my card and I'm taking my cloud dies and I'm popping those up on with some foam tape so that I can place them on the front of the card and you see me doing that here like I said I did die cut two of them but you only see me die cutting and distressing one so here I am stamping out your, so I wanted my wheel to reveal some really cool sentiments for the receiver. So I wrote in your, and then when you spin the wheel, you get different words for the receiver. And then what you saw me doing there was just cutting out a little thumb hole so that you can spin your wheel much easily. And I also added a little shooting star, and then I also put on the front of my card this really cool um, girl that I colored in with my Touch 5 markers. And that is it for the card. Thank you for watching my video today, and if you want to see more videos just like this one, then hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to like, share, and comment down below. And until the next time, bye-bye.